All right. What's up, guys? Tim here with BitsandTokens.com. So uh, I'm going to jump right into it. The alpha version of the Bridge X OS is available now. Um, you're going to need a bridge, obviously. You're going to want to pop your SD card out from the back of that. And you are going to need an SD card adapter like this one in order to actually get the SD card into your computer. Okay. You're also going to need the program that is on the screen behind me. Okay, this is called 7-Zip. It is a program that you can use to either create um, zipped up files in the 7-Z, GZ, TAR extensions, um, or you can use it to extract files that have been zipped up in those type of extensions. Now, this is a big hefty file that you're gonna download. The link is in the description for that for the actual OS. Um, but go ahead and uh, you'll download three things right now. You're going to download 7-Zip. You're also going to go to Belina.io slash Etcher and download Etcher. Um, and then you're also obviously going to download the OS itself. Now, I did take the liberty of uh, getting everything ready here. So uh, what I did first was this is the first file that you'll have. It's going to be the xyo-bridge-403... 19.image.tar.gz, right? Um, once you extract that, you'll get this uh, file right here, .image.tar. You'll have to then extract that again to get the image file. So from the top, the first thing you do is you click on this, you go to 7-zip after you've installed 7-zip, right? So this is your downloaded file. I moved it over to my spare hard drive where there's not really a whole lot going on, okay? Click on that click on 7-zip and then you can just do extract here or extract files I usually just like to do extract here or actually what I did for this one was extract to XYO bridge etc etc because it created a nice little folder for me to keep everything just nice and tidy really not a whole big difference in in which way you want to go so um, then once you have that tar file uh, which is what comes when you extract everything you'll do that process one more time Okay, so you'll go to 7-zip, extract here, or extract files, um, and that's going to give you this image file. Once you've got a good image file, pretty easy, you're going to open up Etcher. Okay. Going to open up Etcher. Once that opens up, it'll ask you for uh, a few things. It's going to ask you for the file itself, which is easy. So that's the image. We're going to go to select image. I'm going to go to where I've got it. I have it on my spare X drive. And then boom, if it can see the file, that means it is an image file, right? It can see all the different folders, but it's not going to see anything that's not an actual image file. So in this instance here, I know we're good because this one says XYO bridge 040319 image. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. I am going to go ahead and select which SD card just to make sure. Um, so there's only one SD card in there right now. So that's the one that we're going to use. And then I'm going to go right to Flash. I'm not going to erase anything. I'm not going to reformat anything. Etcher is going to take care of all that for us. I'm going to go ahead and say yes to this. It says here that it's starting. Okay, now I can see my computer is kind of wigging out because the SD card is being formatted, like I said, by Etcher. So it's starting everything for me. Once that's done, we're pretty much done with the actual update part of it. Um, and I use the term update very loosely because this is not an update. Um, it's really a reformatting. Um, you know, it, it's it's this is new. It's a new operating system. They were previously on Google's Internet of Things um, kind of base operating system. Now they're running on a more sophisticated distribution of Linux. Um, just some backstory on that. Raspbian is one of the preferred um, operating systems that you can get for your Raspberry Pi which is not the whole case. The Raspberry Pi is just the little board that's on the inside. Probably not going to open this now because it's not really that important. I have, I've got pictures somewhere on the XYO group of me opening it up and opening up the Sentinels and all that. Anyways, um, so Raspbian is the uh, distribution of Linux that's running on the actual Pis now or will be running on the actual uh, Raspberry Pi bridges with the Bridge X, again, update. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I'll be right back with you guys as soon as this is done. The flashing is probably going to take about, you know, I would say maybe 20 minutes or so um, to, to get that flashed on there. Extracting everything, seeing as how we had to extract twice, took me about, I would say, another 20 minutes altogether as well. 
Um, I did do that before the video started just to not have a lot of the boring stuff in the video. Um, but if you've never done anything before and you have to download a bunch of these files, extract everything and, you know, kind of figure it out by what I'm doing here in the video, give yourself about an hour or so and you'll, you'll be through it. Um, this video shouldn't really be any more than like 10 minutes or so long. Um, so I'll be right back with you guys after I've got that. And then uh, maybe we'll look at reinstalling the SD card, which is again, really easy. And then, um, maybe take a look at how it actually looks on, um, when you're, you know, actually using the uh, software. Maybe look at some setup instructions. Um, maybe not. I might save that for our next video. But for right now, yeah, we are going to get this bad boy all set up here today. So give me a second and then we'll get that plugged in. I'll verify everything is working and then you guys will be good to go. this thing on it's on all right so if you're like me uh, you have no idea what the password is um, it's not disclosed anywhere it is one two three four okay you just type in one two three four okay sorry that the uh, image is a little bit stretched uh, for whatever reason when I try to record the HDMI of the actual um, bridge it doesn't really show me what I want to see but here you can see it's connected to multiple archivists let me scroll down um, so it's connected to multiple archivists and so um, the first thing that you'll have to do when you when you actually get everything set up is connect to Wi-Fi and then right up here where it says bridge owner you're actually going to want to change that for whatever reason it, it uh, maybe when they copied the um, when they cloned the SD card from compiling this image maybe they had already signed in or whatever but it, it comes with a different owner who is not you so you'll go ahead and change that when I changed it for whatever reason it's telling me um, that I don't own the bridge I don't know why but um, that's how you're gonna do that so you know we'll have more information as that you know comes up I, I don't know if maybe there's a specific place where we need to go to register these these things um, although that reminds me Wi-Fi is actually gonna be in the top corner you can't see it um, you can see that I'm connected to our network here, but the Wi-Fi is going to be in the top corner. It's literally it's, it's just a Wi-Fi symbol. You'll go ahead and click on that and just type in your password and you're good to go. Um, one thing, I don't know if this is going to be for everyone's bridge uh, or if maybe you know my keyboard is set up a little bit different. Um, but just depending on your keyboard layout, I had an issue where my at button was my quotation button and vice versa. So in order for me to type in Tim at bizandtokens.com. I had to hit the quote button instead of the um, at button. So just a little fun fact. I don't know if that's everybody, like I said, but that's how this is going to work. Um, so that's the video, guys. That's how, I mean, you you followed along so far, you know, quick and easy. We're at about nine minutes now. You, you're, you're done. You're good to go.